got a notice from one of my vendors that I'm getting a credit on my next bill and I'm not sure how I'm supposed to apply that. Okay, so um, what you would want to do is set up what's called a vendor credit. And this will help you reduce any future bills to that vendor, right? So uh, the way I understand it, you should reduce your next payment to that vendor by that amount? Correct. Let's take a look at how to do that. In the Quick Create menu, under the Vendors menu, let's see, there should be a vendor credit right here underneath Purchase Orders. And here we can go ahead and enter in the vendor. Let's pick up Bright House, and we want to post it against the utilities because it is a reduction of your utility bill for $20. We can pick up the overhead class, and if there's a reference number, if they gave you a reference number, you can enter it right here, and save and close. And that's all there really is to entering the vendor credit. So now when it's time to pay your vendor, let's take a look at how that happens. Let's go into our pay bill screen. So here is the bill for Bright House Networks. This is the next bill. It's due on September 3rd. So if we want to make a payment, we can enter the payment and you can see the bill is being paid, but the actual amount being paid is $20 less. And the bill is being paid in full, and if we scroll down, oh. there's the credit being automatically applied. Now, if you didn't want to apply this credit at this point, you could uncheck this, and then the payment to the vendor would revert back to the full amount of the bill, and the credit will sit here on the right-hand side. Waiting to be applied in the future. Exactly. But since we want to apply it right now, I'll just click the Add button, and my payment, again, reduces by $20. So now I can save and close, and this bill is ready to be paid. Mm -hmm.